Waiters of Reddit, what's the most ridiculous order someone's placed and how did you deal with it? One couple in particular made the chef rage so hard she just walked out. Wife orders some meal and makes a ton of changes to it. She gets the plate takes one bite and sends it back because she doesn't like it. Husband orders $60 lobster plate. The lobster tail comes with pepper sprinkled on top. The husband sends it back and wants a whole new one with no pepper on top. Apparently his wife wanted to try one piece, but doesn't like pepper. I would love to be in a restaurant, where a waiter or manager tells a persnickety customer that the chef has left the building because of their order, and there will be no more food. I've seen that happen. The manager came over to the table next to mine, just as we were being seated and politely said, Sir, ma'am, I'll have to ask you to leave the premises immediately. The chef has refused to prepare your order and the waiter refuses to return to this section. Until you're gone. The drinks you've already had are gratis, of course. They sat there in shock. After a moment the guy said, well, I'm not leaving. The manager's tone changed and said, sir, if you're not out the door in the time it takes me to walk to the phone over there, I'll be calling the police. He then walked to the phone and the couple left without another word. It still bugs me that I missed what actually happened, because I bet it was good. Barista here. We had a Narcotics Anonymous convention in town once. I had someone order a 16 ounce cup with as much espresso as would fit. It was something like 18 shots. Cost about 25 bucks. And he downed it at the counter and went woo. Another nag guy wanted a 16 ounce cup with half vanilla syrup and half espresso. A lady regularly asks for a cup of regular coffee with a large spoonful of butter stirred in. We do breakfast sandwiches on bagels and croissants. And a businessman with a group of his colleagues had ham slash egg slash cheese. But he wanted it on a chocolate croissant. I think my favorite incident though, was a lady that wanted a lat with half non-fat and half soy, a triple shot with one regular shot, one decaf shot, and one half calf shot, heated to a specific temperature, double cupped, one splendor and one equal stirred into the shots, the works, basically, the guy behind her thought it was as ridiculous as I did, and he loudly asked for a mocha bullsh drink with one third goat's milk, one third cashew milk, and one third giraffe milk, cooled with a chip of ice from a Norwegian glacier, and topped with nutmeg and gold flake. Then he said, wait, is your giraffe milk fair trade? Okay never mind then, I'll just have a cup of coffee. He still comes in, I love that guy. I worked for a while in a vegetarian slash vegan friendly buffet restaurant. Now, the great majority of people were actually really nice, not particularly haughty about their diet or anything. But I had two customers that were, let's say, different. The first one came up to me with a plate already filled with various salads that she, being a buffet, had personally selected. She showed me the plate and asked me, do your salads have any raw ingredients in it? And before I could answer, because I'm pregnant, see, so I can't eat anything raw, while still showing me her plate of definitely raw, various veggies and fruit salads. I was so dumbstruck that all I could say was let me ask the kitchen to make sure. And I actually did, because is salad raw is one of these questions that make you question even the most basic things, such as what a salad is, or what hats are. I asked the chef if our salads had raw ingredients in them. He looked at me and said, is she familiar with the concept of salad? We ended up switching her plate for another one because yes, our salads had raw ingredients in them. However, all in all, she was really nice about it, and didn't mind waiting a bit more for us to fix her plate. The second one was, however, a bit more rude. She came up to me, and told me, that she could only eat raw, vegan stuff. I thus directed her to the salad buffet, because, hey, now I was pretty sure they were made of raw ingredients. And that's when she scowled at me and said, oh, yeah, but I'm getting a bit tired of salads, you know. You tremendous twat you bestow upon other people the task of finding you food that fits your incredibly narrow criteria, and then you be that it's a tad unoriginal. She later complained that we didn't, didn't have any raw cake. The cake was already vegan, mind you, but yeah, we had baked it. This is the only time I really thought you are an insult to natural selection. This is my thread. I don't care if this gets buried. I love this story. I used to work at Olive Garden. At Olive Garden, there's a dish called the 5 cheese marinara, you know. Essentially a plate loaded up with cheesy magic with a little bit of pasta thrown in. 
One day, a stupid man with his stupid wife come in, and the man says I want the 5 cheese marinara, but I don't like cheese. I look him dead in the eye, and say then don't order that, you're not going to like it. Instead of being a sane, rational person, the man says oh, can't you just have them take some of the cheese off, again. I repeat you will not like this, it's almost all cheese, but he insists, I just accept it, curse this stupid man, ring the dish in, and immediately run to the kitchen, I'll let the kitchen, and my manager, know that he's going to send it back, of course, my manager is the nicest man in the entire world and refunds his entire meal, and brings him a new one once he, unsurprisingly, sends it back, because it was too cheesy, he left me 4 cents as a tip, stupid a hole. Had my own restaurant, a client asked for a bottle of wine, I served it point two minutes later client called me at his table, and with a schmuck face telling me that the wine had a cork taint, trying to impress the people at his table, that he knows wine, and that he wasn't gone pay for, that bottle demanding another bottle, I had to explain to him, that that was impossible, because that South African red wine had no cork. But a screw cap, had a table of 8 clients. They called in a week, before they came over to eat, talking about the dishes they wanted, the woman on the phone says she was lactose intolerant, and it was very important there was no cream or dairy products in her meal, so I made my chef prepare her a nice 3 course meal without any of those products, that took much more time, because it wasn't on the menu and everybody else took the same food, she was very grateful. Then I noticed that after her dessert she ordered her second Irish coffee, not to stick up for that woman or anything, but I'm moderately lactose intolerant, and sometimes that means I can pick something dairy, as long as it's not too much, I can have parmesan on my pasta, but not ice cream for dessert, that kind of thing, if I ate a 3 course meal, where each course had some dairy, however, both your restroom and I would suffer greatly, to come to mind. I had to wear glasses for a couple of weeks from a hit I took to my eye. One top I was serving asked if he could use my glasses to eat because he had a hard time seeing. I said no because I'm using it for medical reasons. He then starts flipping a shit about how the customer gets what he wants. I waved my manager over and she pretty much heard the whole thing and her response was priceless. Sir I understand that you have bad eyesight and this unfortunate but he needs those glasses. Besides, would you ask to borrow someone's underwear, if you weren't wearing a pair, glasses are the underwear for the face, he apologized, this woman saw, that we had ahi tuna, also known as yellow fin tuna, and rice, she demanded we make sushi, I told her that's, not on our menu, she said she heard the table over got a request they asked for that's, not on the menu, that request at the next table, was to use unmarinated chicken, just regular seasoned chicken, no problem. She ranted that we were discriminating her, strange hearing that coming out of a white person's mouth. I get fed up, told my manager and chef. They both are about to bleed out their ears on how dumb this is. Chef cut the tuna and just pressed the rice together. It just looks like flat slices of tuna just topped with rice and nothing else with it. It brought to the table and she says, you didn't even try. Where's the seaweed? Cucumber avocado and wasabi are you trying to get me to walk out my manager just stares for a second and says yes because sushi is not on our menu this is a steak house and we serve american style dishes this lady had the gall to say you all are bigots you ruined my dinner and i'm reporting your whole staff fast forward a week or two the gm mentions that a woman called and mentioned we were being bigots and discriminating her and treated her unfairly we let out a huge laugh gm looks confused and we explain what happened the gm starts laughing his a off and says what a crazy lady blah 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 this woman comes in later that night demanding i be fired for how i treated her my manager tells her to leave or we are calling the police she storms out to the entrance and starts screaming that this is a racist restaurant how we promote white power, remember that this crazy is white, and don't care about our guest, and how we are turning back time. A huge crowd is just staring at her with WTF is this be talking about faces. She was really trying to start a rally, and take this place back for the people. WTF. Shortly after the police arrive, and the next day we all get free. Dope as F. Steak dinners because we handled it so well. 10 years in the service industry checking in, 
at the Italian restaurant I worked at as a server slash bartender slash manager for 5 years. We had a lot of regular customers come in, and had some strange requests, most were nothing too special, but one guy would come in 4 to 5 days a week, and he would never order anything on the menu, unless it was a busy night and we wouldn't have time to get crazy. On the slower nights though, he would order things with sauces we didn't normally make, or special dessert concoctions. Even though we prepared desserts daily, and did not make them to order, the craziest thing he ever ordered though, was a donut explosion. To be clear, we did not, nor know how to make donuts. However, there was a Dunkin Donuts next to our location, and he sent one of his favorite servers next door, to pick up a dozen random donuts. When he came back, the customer told me which ones he wanted on his dessert, and I proceeded to go back into the kitchen and whip up his dessert to his specification. It consisted of two donuts, topped with vanilla ice cream layered between the brownie cake that was our house specialty and topped with chambord and a port wine fig sauce that we put on pork chops. This was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in a restaurant, but he let me try a bite, and it was effing amazing. Needless to say, he ordered it a few more times before I left that restaurant. The strangest request. When I worked for Starbucks, I helped open the first drive through store in the area, so it was a learning process for some customers. A lady orders in the drive through lane an iced venti vanilla lap with 22 sweet and lows. Me. 22 sweet and lows. Like 2 2. Customer. Say yes 22 sweet and lows. Me. Okay. Please pull up. Now at the drive through we put the extra milk and sugar in the drinks for the customers. When in a cafe they would add it on their own. So, the person working the bar looks at me like for real this lady wants 22 packs of sweet and low in her lat. That's what she said so that's what we made her. The lady pulls up and pays for her drink. I hand it over and tell her to have a nice day. She stops and says oh, can I get those sweet and lows now? I just looked at her and said that they were already in her drink. Boy was she pissed. She wanted us to hand her 22 packs of sweet and low at the drive-thru so that she could take them home.